Two years ago, doctors told me that I had a tumor on a gland that I didn't even know I had. It was called a parathyroid gland. I'd had thyroid surgery almost 20 years earlier and um, had a tumor removed then and things went fine, no complications. So I was prepared for that, but I was concerned. Uh, my husband and my whole family was concerned that it could be cancer. My parents flew in, we got the kids all prepared. I wrote um, a million pages in my journal about how I felt, but I really trusted that God was going to bring me through it. And uh, I just was ready whatever happened. When I first heard that I was going to be facing surgery and that this could be cancer, there was a great fear in me that what if I don't make it? What if I don't make it out of surgery? I have four children. What am I going to do? And God brought me a verse through different people sending it to me, through me just finding it. It was a verse that spoke directly to me. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Well, we went through the surgery and uh, things seemed like they were fine. The doctor said there was no cancer and we were so relieved. But he said there are some complications. It was very difficult to get to the tumor because of scar tissue. So he ran a scope down my neck and uh, looked at my vocal cords and he said the left vocal cord was paralyzed. And I said, well, what about singing? And I said, I'm a singer. I sing in a band at my church every week. He said, yeah, it could be, you know, six to nine months, but it should come back on its own. Well, after several months of hoping and praying that something would happen, our church started having a 40 days of faith campaign. Well, I began really praying in earnest and asked Shane to pray. And we had several friends praying for us that during that 40 days campaign that God would heal my voice and I would be able to be back up on stage singing. Well, I knew God could do this. He had given me my voice in the first place, and I knew He had the power to heal me. So I really believed this was going to happen. Well, week after week went by, and the final week of the 40 Days campaign, I got up that Sunday morning thinking, this is it. I'm going to be able to sing, and I'm going to go to church, and everybody's going to be excited, and it's just going to be a miracle. Well, as the day drug on and nothing had changed, and I tried singing during the service, just sitting in the audience, and it sounded like the same little creaky sound I had been making for months. I just cried and cried knowing nothing had changed. Nothing had happened. I was very, very discouraged and ended up depressed. I went and talked to a couple friends and I went and saw a counselor and talked to her and just totally in confusion about God, why God let this happen, and what was I going to do now, who was I, I've always been a singer, if I'm not a singer, who am I? Finally my husband said, why don't you get some time away, just you and God, and go stay in a hotel, and I'll take care of everything, and so I went. And while I was there, I just poured out my heart to God, I was angry, and I told him about it, and I journaled a lot, and I prayed a lot, and I just thought about, what am I going to do with myself if I'm not a singer? And I listened to some music and some songs, and it was that God was speaking to me through music, just like he always had. And one of the songs I heard while I was gone was called Blessed Be Your Name. It was a song I'd heard hundreds of times. I knew all the words. It was a good song, but this time when I heard it, it was like God was speaking directly to me. And the part that says, you give and take away, you give and take away, my heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. God had given me the voice I had, and I had used it for Him all those years, but He had chosen to take it away, and I had to choose in that moment to still praise Him, and that's what I decided I would do. Whether I could ever sing on stage again, whether anybody else could ever hear me, I had to still praise Him, and though my voice didn't sound anything like I used to, I sang out with all my heart in the car on the way home that day, I'm just pouring out my heart to God in song knowing that he still wanted to hear my voice, and if he was the only audience I ever had, that was enough. So that weekend was a big turning point for me. That's when I decided that God had something different for me, and that was to go back to college and get my degree and become a counselor, a Christian counselor, helping people through depression, through things I had been through and helping teenagers, that's where my heart is. And so I'm back in school now, and I know that um, because of that weekend and that turning point when God spoke to me and I took the time to listen, He had more for me than just what I thought my life was about. Recently I found out there is probably another tumor, and I'm going to be having surgery again in the next couple months. This time I'm not excited about it, but I'm not as worried because I know God is in control. 
I know that he brought me through that horrible time two years ago and the last two years of having to change directions of my life. But I know that he's going to be with me even in this next surgery. And I don't know what all we're going to find out again, but I have the, the confidence through the verses and through the, the comfort and encouragement of people around me that I'm going to be okay. And I also know that whether my voice ever comes back or not, whether this surgery fixes it or not, or if it never comes back, I hold on to the hope that one day we'll be in heaven and we'll, I'll never get sick again. I'll never feel bad again. And I'll be singing again, better than I ever did here on earth. And I'll be singing for him. And that's the hope I hold on to.